I remember I had just failed my third exam in a row. And I will never forget the moment that a man walked up to me and looked me in the eyes and he said that that is the best that I will ever be able to do. And in that very moment, I made a decision. Greatness would be my new norm. Make this moment the moment of truth for yourself. Many of you have been selling yourself short. You've been striving for average because that's all you think you're capable of. You're surrounded by average. Therefore, subconsciously, you become average. But you have the opportunity to experience more. You have the opportunity to be someone who is in a constant state of growth. You might be thinking, it's not possible to study any harder than I already am. If I can ask for one thing while you're watching this, please watch it with an open mind. Do not set self-imposed limitations on yourself. You can't change the past, but you can change the future. Just because you've been getting C grades your whole life, it doesn't mean that it has to continue that way. I've done it myself. I destroyed my self-imposed limitations and stopped studying like a C grade student and started studying like an A grade student. And the rest is history. Once you start becoming self-aware and utilizing that growth mindset, you'll start realizing that you're capable of much more than what you're achieving right now. Once you start growing, once your habits start growing, once your work ethic starts growing, you'll start to see your grades start growing. You'll start to see the obstacles as challenges to help you grow stronger. Don't fear the obstacles. Ask yourself, what did you learn from them? Use adversity to your advantage. Decide to come out of this better. A lot of people have this dream in their head, but they don't know how to make it a reality. We navigate through life, but we don't know how to achieve the dreams we have. And it's very easy to give advice to that, because whatever you're trying to achieve in your life, whatever greatness you're trying to achieve, it requires the same approach. It requires you to level up what you're doing right now. And that's why I talk so much about putting in the effort with your studying. It's not even about the studying. It's about the work ethic and the focus that you're growing and nurturing. And then, once you graduate, you use those same skills that you've been priming for years and go laser focused on your chosen path. Whether it's become a businessman, a lawyer, a doctor, a surgeon, an accountant, a teacher, a nurse, a scientist, a musician, it really doesn't matter. The path to becoming great is the same for everyone. The best people in any field are those who devote the most hours to it. When all their actions within a 24-hour period are explicitly intended to improve their performance. So, what does that mean for you? It means getting at least seven hours of sleep a night to help with your brain functionality and memory retention. It means eating healthily and exercising daily to energize your body and reduce stress levels. It means setting daily study goals to keep pushing yourself harder and keeping your studying consistent. You're fully aware of the bridges you need to cross over to significantly improve your grades. You know exactly how to make it a reality. Yet you're navigating through life and you keep missing the bridges to bridge the gap between your performance right now and the grades you're capable of getting. And I'll leave you with the words of Gary Vaynerchuk. If you want to be an anomaly, you've got to act like one. People want all these special things to happen but then they're acting like everybody else. They want the phenomenal grades, but they're studying just the same amount as everyone else. So they achieve the same grades as everyone else. 
and work ethic is the one thing that you have complete control over. You don't have control over how well you retain information or how naturally gifted you are at any particular subject. But you have complete control over how many hours you study. You have complete control over how often you ask your lecturer for help when you get seriously stuck. I feel like there's a shift that needs to be made to make people work harder. The big one that I realize makes the biggest difference is, you're going to die. You only get one shot at this. You can't just rewind your life and do it again. You can't be talking about how you're going to achieve amazing grades next semester, but then you don't study on the weekends. Take full control and learn how to love to lose. That's how life is. We all have losses. I love adversity. I love the climb. I love the chip on my shoulder. I love when people are saying, I knew it, he's not that good. I love when my friend gets better grades than me, so it gives me the ammunition to destroy him next time. You have complete control over your studying. Complete control. So, push yourself harder, because no one else will do it for you. There's one thing motivational channels never tell you. It's something they all avoid saying. Even though it can be the most motivational two words you'll ever hear, they all avoid saying it. It's these two words. You can't. Because let me tell you, when someone tells me that I can't do something, when someone doesn't believe in me, or looks down on me, or sees me as weak and powerless, I don't care who it is. My parents, my friends, my professors at university, society, it doesn't matter. When I'm told you can't, I'll prove you wrong. When you try to drag me down, I'll bounce back twice as strong with more focus, more discipline, more determination than ever before. Because you chose the wrong person to mess with. Because a lot of people would be discouraged and intimidated and fall back when they're told they can't do something. Most people are like that, and that's fine. It's normal to feel that way. It's normal to feel discouraged. When the people around you are dragging you down, that's not me. I turn that negative energy into obsession. I study three hours more every day. I stay focused like a laser. Procrastination doesn't stand a chance when I'm in obsession mode. Now, you can see the link between your studying and happiness. The more you push yourself in your studying to become better than you were yesterday, you will start achieving more and feeling better about yourself, which will make you happier. There's a direct link between your studying and your happiness. There are a few people who have decided within themselves, I'm going to make it. Some people aren't waiting for their lives to improve. Some people are moving on their own because they feel within themselves, I've got what it takes to make it. They are not afraid about tomorrow because of how they see themselves, because of what they feel that they deserve because of what they feel that they can create for themselves. Because these people have decided, as they look at the future, as they look at themselves, there's a way. Where there's a will, there's a way. And when you have that kind of drive, nothing can stop you, nothing. Because you took the pain and you channeled it into productive action. It's a life-changing skill to have, to be able to take negative emotions and pain and flip it into fuel for your fire. So, make a decision right now. Which path do you want to take? the path of hard work and success, or the path of pain and regret.